What's good, y'all? It's your man, Sight, and today I'm here to show you guys something new and exciting. Akai just dropped a 2.9 update for MPC. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's get busy. All right, y'all, welcome back. Once again, my name is Sight, and I make videos about creating dope beats using the MPC, as well as other tools for producers and content creators. So if you like this content, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're really, really, really a real one, you go ahead and hit that bell notification while you at it. All right, so I'm not gonna take up too much time. Let's go ahead and jump right into this update. There's not a whole lot to look at other than this, the brand new drum synth. Now we saw a little bit of this at NAMM last year, I believe it was. Andy Mack showed a little sneak peek to, I believe it was soundsandgear.com. Shout out to St. Joe. But now we actually get to get in here and mess around with it and create some sounds. So I had a chance to kind of mess with it for a couple days. Shout out to Akai, they sent it out early for me to take a look. And if I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, when I first heard about the update and what's included with it, I was like, eh. don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people in the community are gonna enjoy this. And a drum synth is something that is highly requested, especially since machines had one for quite some time. But when I saw the big update for the Akai Force, I got pretty excited and I thought we were gonna get a massive update kind of like they did. So I'm still keeping my fingers crossed for that. But in the meantime, this is a really cool feature. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through it with you. I haven't done a whole lot with it. We can kind of experiment together, all right? So to get to it, it's pretty simple. You just go to a track, hit the plugin, all right? And down here where you would normally see, you know, your bass line, synth, tube synth, it has MPC drum plugins. Now, basically it's treating this like eight different plugins. I guess technically nine if you consider the multi. So each of these is a different, I guess, kind of bass sample that it takes it from. And it's a mixture of sample and synthesis from what I understand. And basically you can just go in here, choose your bass sound and kind of modify it. All right, so um, let's go ahead and start with a kick. And I actually put it on pad perform and notes. So we can kind of mess around with that. Let's go to program edit. And you'll see here it has models, right? So it has 80. 90, driven eight, hybrid, sounds like a mix of the two, trance, natural, natural B, hard, hard two, clipped, and I believe that's it. So I think this is gonna be really cool for guys who are into Sublab and those kind of plugins, and we're looking for something to kind of create custom 808s. I actually did create a custom 808 pack using tube synth, which was all right, but I think this is gonna be much better for sound designing 808s and creating more of a solid base for your 808s. Now it looks like it has glide here, which I think is gonna be very interesting. Let's go ahead and mess with that parameter. All right, so it looks like there's a whole bunch of parameters here. We've got velocity, velocity two, target. So I'm not exactly sure how that works yet. I'm gonna need some practice. If you hit the Q-Link button again, or if you have an X and go to these, uh, it looks like it's got a tune button. So it looks like it's got tune here, hold. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's crank that up. Turn the, turn the decay up. Sounds like we can get some glides doing it that way. So it sounds like if you wanna glide multiple notes, you have to keep the original note held down. So that's interesting. If I just, uh, if I let go of the first note and I just glide the last two, let's see if that works. No, so you gotta keep the original note held down. So that's kind of interesting. It sounds like every pad you push, you have to keep held down to glide the next one. See if we can do four. All right, 
right, so that's kind of cool. Um, sweep, let's see what that does. So that sounds like it has something to do with the attack. So that's pretty dope. I like that. That's a pretty cool parameter. All right, uh, let's go down here. Harm. That's probably harmonics. Let me turn that sweep back down. So that sounds like it increases the harmonic frequencies on it. And just affects some neighboring frequencies on the uh, on the transient. All right, we've got click, and that's the little click in the beginning. I'm personally not a big fan of clicks, so let's turn that down. All right, so that's more like an 808 I would use. I like to keep a punchy kick in my beats, so that's probably the way I would do it. I would turn the click down, but that's a really cool parameter that we get to adjust. So for bass lines, this is gonna be really good, this 808. But let's go look at like a snare or something like that and see what that sounds like. All right, I'm gonna pull up another track here and create another plugin. All right, drum synth snare. Let's go to program edit. So it looks like the same type of thing. We've got 80. Let's click on it and see all the choices. 80, 90, natural ring, comp A, comp B, and band pass. So let's go ahead and go through each one of them. All right, so I'll go ahead and keep that band pass. All right, so let's keep that. We've got it on chromatic, but for some reason, it's not doing the same thing as the other ones. So 90 seems like it could be like 909 style. Let's go ahead and mess around with that. All right, we're gonna keep the, uh, the tune there. And you know, I like my snares like I like my women. Full body. <laughs> that was from my wife. All right, you can hear the noise. All right, and hold. I'm curious. All right, so it sounds like the tune is changing the bass note but the top end and kind of like the transient is staying the same. Let's mess around with these. I like a nice short snare, so I'll probably use this decay. Keep it pretty low. And here you can adjust the stereo feel, which sounds pretty cool. I bet. So that's pretty dope. And it looks like we have the same kind of distortion stuff here. We can go ahead and activate that and activate the transient. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now, someone like me who tends to use a lot of sample drums, how I would probably use this is uh, I would actually probably do layers. I would probably do some resampling. I like to use a lot of sample drums and I like the texture of using a sample drum and stacking it. So probably what I would do with this is I would probably create kicks and subs and things like that to go underneath a sample kick or you know maybe a clean snare like this to go underneath a dirty snare 
and just kind of give those drums a little more punch. So I think this is cool if you're planning on creating some custom drum kits. Obviously your generic like 808, 909 style drums, they've kind of been beat to death, but I think you can come up with some really unique and interesting things if you kind of stack them with other samples. That's probably how I would use it. And maybe I'll make a drum kit kind of with those hybrid style drums in the near future for you guys. But this should be a really cool way to come up with original drums. And if you can't find the drum exactly that you're looking for and you want to spend a couple minutes creating it, this is the way you can do it pretty quickly. And what I like about it as well is it looks like you can save presets, which is pretty dope. So, you know, you can just go in and save it, call it like, you know, site test snare. All right, do it. And even though this isn't the big update that I was looking forward to, this is a really cool tool. Just a couple days messing around with it. I've already kind of gotten addicted, but it just adds some more power and functionality to what's already a really powerful unit. So this is just a quick overview. I just wanted to show you guys what's in the new 2.9. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'd be interested to hear if you're excited about it or if you're disappointed and waiting on that big Akai Force update that we're all looking forward to. Let me know down in the comments. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. So thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one, all right? Peace.